Hello? Okay. So now I'm up bottom of my wheelchair, the bottom to this microphone. So. Okay, um, hi. First of all, uh, we could skip this whole castle thing. I have to waste on the gentleman before me, because wouldn't it be great? That's why I say, whoa, 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 whoa. Really? If I were a woman, I would shut off on all this voice. Really, it's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but that's not the point today. I know you're all expecting uh, me on this stage, flashing you with fun. Yeah, guys. Life sucks. <laughs> What's happening? Because everybody knows not all boxes full of chocolates have taste of chocolate inside. You know it, right? So, in this, but it's not gonna be problem because, and I see you have noticed why I'm not on this stage. Because now please get up. Please stand up. Everybody stand up. You need to stand up to see what I'm talking about. Okay, come on, you're sitting for two hours now. Give me a little stretching. Please, check out this wonderful, amazing construction. This uh, invention of engineering technology called stairs. Check them out. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely sure you don't embrace them anymore. You use it every day. You're going up and down, and you don't stop and look at them and embrace them. Think about it. Okay, now you, 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 you have a little bit weak. Sit down there, please. <laughs> um, look, uh, think about how uh, often you use these things. You step up and down, and you don't stop and embrace them. Guys, this is the most economic and efficient construction engineers came up with, okay, probably it was an earthquake millions of years ago when we signed the steps the first time, but our mind was able to keep it and use it to their benefit. And now we have the most efficient and economic way to connect two different levels. It's amazing, isn't it? The steps are great. Sometimes, especially when I talk to women, 
Yes, you do that. You do that. You do that. <laughs> I call it the smiling peach. The smiling peach. Because you have to smile if you're faced to such a peach. Really. Because it's, it's, it's like a visual roller coaster ride straight to the mountains of joy down to the plain, plain belly button piercing. Really, it's amazing. I love this. And ladies, be honest. There are a few ladies here, yes. You know that, right? That I can see them, and every guy who's taller than you can see them too, right? I mean, you have to know that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's actually a great thing about talking uh, to people like this. And there are other things in the wheelchair you can do. Great things, and you never have to apologize for it because there, there are two people, two kinds of people outside. There are forgiving kinds, there are forgiving types, and there are giving back types. Imagine me in a crowd of people in front of a concert, waiting at the entrance, lots of people waiting one by one, is uh, search and get in, and so it's, it's a stop and stop and go. And I'm talking with my friends, and sometimes it happens. I hit the person in front of me on the heel, with my front heel. It's not really the most fun experience, I guess. So it's always, and it's always the biggest, meanest looking guy. <laughs> so there are two kinds now. The one who forgive. They sinking down in the pain, you can see the pain on the back, it's steaming out of their body, they start to cry, and they turn around slowly, they see me, and then tears softly dropping down the face, and they say, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then there is the kind of guy with the uh, uh, giving back, these are the really first one because you can you can tell it by, by, by looking at his bed. These are the rage ones. They use the pain to generate their need to kill. Really, they got the pain and think, oh, what the fuck? You're a fuck up! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna rip your face off! Okay, they don't say it, but you can feel it, okay? That the people around us moving that because they feel the atomic explosion happening somewhere or other. So, and then, this guy is really like a red hulk. He's growing in his pain, and then he's turning around slowly. And then, in his pain, and in his rage, he's surprised and confused. Because there is nobody to blame for. The guy he first sees it is way too far behind to cause the pain. So he, he starts wondering, and you can see the atomic reaction is slowing down a little bit because he's getting more confused and confused. And the reason, and then he, he starts thinking, and and then you look down. And down. <laughs> and then there I am. And this me, killer, turns into a big, soft teddy bear. Who says, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all of my life in the wheelchair. Thanks. Nabaha. See you. Uh, I was wondering if you remember that one, so are there any late uh, additions?